YouTube. What is good? It's your boy, Professor Rich, and welcome back to the club channel. Like always, I appreciate you guys for clicking on the video and tuning in for today. And like always, shout to the club members. I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I know on my analytics, we have like 40% people that watch the channel aren't subscribed. So if you're watching right now, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. I mean, and we're just going to dive straight into the topic for today, man. And uh, it's a controversial topic, though, but I, I'm pretty I'm pretty firm on my stance on this, man. A lot of guys or a lot of women say they like men who are emotionally available to them. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just telling you guys, do not put yourself in a position where you are overly vulnerable with your woman because she is going to see you in a different light. And when you do that, you lose masculine frame and you start tapping into your feminine energy. And that <laughs> dries her poom poom all the way up, bro. I don't care what you say. And as a man, like I said, bro, it's cool to be in touch with your emotions, bro, and express your emotions. But in, in a relationship, if you're dealing with a woman, whatever role you play into her life, bro, she looks to you. You're supposed to be the rock. You're supposed to be able to be calm, cool, and collected under any situation. Know what I mean, she looks, you're supposed to be able to properly lead her, you know what I mean, to the promised land or to greatness or whatever. you leading her, bro. She's following your lead. And if you going through something and you put out that weakness or that, that beta male energy, bro, or that emotional or like, uh, like I lost hope energy, dog. She is going to lose attraction for you because she's going to know that in times of duress or when times she needs to be led, that you do not know how to properly handle those situations and you fold, dog. You fold. If anything, find a good group of homies or like a friend that you can vent to, but you aren't whining and complaining, bro, and coming off as weak. If you lose your job and you sit there and whine and complain to your girlfriend, talk about, I don't know what I'm going to do, bro. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, she's going to dry straight up, dog. And you, you, women can say they want a man who is emotionally available, bro. Showing your emotions show, uh, shows strength. Yes, that's true. But if you more, if you are more emotional than her, She's going to lose respect for you and the man. And she's going to go seek a man who can properly stay calm, cool, and collected in those type of situations, dog. You're supposed to be the foundation. If she can't lean on you in times of duress, bro, who is going? she's going to find something or someone else to lean on. You know what I mean? And it might not be a shoulder, nigga. Feel me? And the, the problem with some of y'all is, like, I don't have a problem with, look, like I said earlier, find a good group of friends or a person. Like, if I'm going through something, bro, and I have a girl, the last person I'm going to go talk about that with is my girl. I mean, I I'm going to go talk to my homie, be like, damn, bro, I'm, I'm going through X, Y, and Z. Like, I'm kind of effed up right now, bro, in the head. And me and him are going to talk about that. Uh, the piggyback off of that is... I've been in situations, I've been super down, I've been super depressed or something, bro, and I made the mistake of consoling with my girl. And first, I'm sure she she dried up like the Sahara Desert so quickly because I, I was acting like a beta male scent, bro. Like, I was sweet, you know what I mean? But also, people only use what you have against them, bro. So, like, I was super, I was super, like, sad or I was going through something, dog, and... She got mad at me and she told people. I mean, she she told people. She told me like I was I was doing X, Y, and Z, bro. And it, it got out because she got mad at me. So don't put yourself in that situation either. But th just to get back on subject, I kind of like got off subject for a little bit. Y'all got to know, like, people... People come to me with issues sometimes, but the, the way you do it, you're not really looking for a solution. You're looking for someone to feel bad for you. You're not really looking for guidance. You're looking 
know what I'm saying? You, you trying to create a pity party, bro. And if you come to a woman with that same energy, she's going to she's gonna lose respect for you, dog. But also, as a man, you shouldn't... It It's okay to have down moments, but you need to limit how long those moments are. Something bad happens to you, dog. Like, when something bad happens to me, last bad thing that happened to me, bro, I was like, oh, I'll give myself a day to get over this. I mean, but tomorrow it's back to work. I'm going to get myself out of this situation. Some things might take longer, but the longer you prolong that is the longer you put energy into feeling bad for yourself and acting like a victim, bro, and complaining and be being weak-minded, bro, not having the mental fortitude to get yourself out of that situation. Instead, you could have put that same energy into back into yourself, bro, to get yourself out the situation, man. So you guys have to make sure that you keep in that same masculine energy in every aspect of your life, man. And you you have to learn how to have lunch life punch you in the face. And you have to learn how to get up, dog, and adapt to that situation and learn how to defeat whatever situation you win. Because as a man, bro, we don't have the luxury of having someone feel bad for us when we go through something, man. As a man, you were automatically looked at to to be a strong, especially as a black man, bro, to be a strong, like, masculine figure, bro, who knows how to get himself out of situations. You know what I mean? So you're doing yourself a disservice if you think you can go to a next, like, to a next man, bro, and act like he's going to feel sorry for you for what you're going through, man. Like, and that's why I said have a good group of homies that you can console, bro, but that will help you get yourself out of the situation or help you uh, brainstorm, I mean, on your next steps or something like that, bro. But, I mean, I'm not going to talk y'all heads off today. I'm just going to end the video right now. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the content. I mean, check out the, the website if you need to book a consultation or you want to buy some merch. Uh, check out the Patreon for some fire behind the scenes exclusive game. Me and you guys just continue to boss up, bro. Continue to level up. Continue to practice your no fat, no seam retention. Increase by at least 1% every day. That is the club way.